Hey, listen, never ever use Midjourney again without this free tool. I basically found an awesome tool that generates mind-blowing Midjourney prompts for you. It is free, it is very easy to use, accessible worldwide, and surely will take your Midjourney game to the next level. So this is the tool I was talking about, MG Prompt Tool. You can access it by going to prompt.nanshoot.com. I will leave the link in the description. So let's put this to the test. I told him, a cat with a Batman outfit chilling on a tall building. And as you can see, it generated the prompt for me here. I'm gonna copy this prompt. We're gonna go to the Discord, paste it here, hit enter. Wait for it to generate our basic image. So we just created the baseline image of our prompt. So as you can see, a cat with a Batman outfit chilling on a tall building. This is our basic image, right? But what we can do to take our image to the next level. We're gonna go back to the tool. As you can see, here you're gonna find all these different options that can add additional things to our image and change completely how they look. For example, if we will select the styles, as you can see, it gave me all these different styles that I can apply to my image. For example, Arabic, Anime, Blocky, Cartoon, Carbine, I select the 1800s theme. Click here, select the style. As you can see, it added the word 1800s in my prompt. Now let's copy this prompt, go back to this core, and remember, this is our baseline image. Now we're gonna apply the 1800s theme to it. Paste the prompt here, and let it generate. Look at this very accurate results, it just blows my mind. Now for example, you can change the lighting, the lighting of the uh, of the images, you can control the backlight, the accent lighting, the blinding light, but there are so many 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 options you can choose from. For example, let's add a lava glow to my images, hit continue, as you can see, it added the keyword lava glow to my prompt, copy this prompt, I'm gonna copy this prompt, go back to Discord, and remember, this is my old image. Now it's gonna use this image and add lava glow effect to it. As you can see guys, a cat with a Batman outfit chilling on a tall building, 1800s lava glow. As you can see, it added the lava glow to our images. Look at that, it is a completely different collection. As you can see, and it just blows my mind. This is a lava glow effect. Even add this cool effect to the cat, to the back of the cat as you can see. As if it was burning or something. Here it added the lava glow, the eye. So let's change things up for a little bit. Let's, uh, we're gonna see the camera here. We're gonna choose the ultra wide angle lens. And uh, for the colors, you can mess with the colors also. We can select the, for example, let's select the, this one, matte black. Hit continue. And also we can choose from the artist section if you have like a preferred like style or like a preferred artist and for example let's i'm gonna select the andy warhol hit continue and let's see let's copy the prompt again i'm very very excited to see how this one goes so we're gonna wait a little bit and while it's generating our images we're gonna go back to the tool and see we can what we can do also we can mess with the size we can change the aspect ratio we can make it square vertical standard we can play the settings and uh, we have the depth of the field and this is the quality we can uh, like control the quality if we wanted it more detailed or 4k i'm gonna leave it with default because i think the more detailed will take like a bit longer to generate and also i'm gonna show you this cool thing now here it says if you want to exclude or avoid certain terms type them below for example we want like uh, we, we don't want no tree on our images so we're gonna type tree and it's gonna add to the, to the prompt, it's gonna add to the prompt no tree. So yeah, let's copy this prompt, this new prompt that we just created and go back to Discord. Boom, this is our new collection. As you can see, it is completely new results. Now, for example, let's, for example, I want the cat with a Batman outfit chilling on a tall building, 1800s, lava glow, ultra wide angle lens, and uh, the style of the artist, we want anti Warhol, ma mate black color, and no trees on the image. We excluded the trees. Now let's copy the prompt. Let's go back to the Discord, paste it here, and we're gonna see what's what's gonna what's gonna generate for us. I'm very very excited to see this one. And here it is, guys. As you can see, it's not it's not very accurate in this image. I don't know why. I told him a cat with a, a cat chilling on a tall building, but instead it gave me this cat 
<laughs> sitting on the middle in the middle of the road but you get the point you really can influence the images and the results as you like there's many options to choose from there's something that i really really want to test i want to add the cyberpunk effect to my image now we're gonna search here cyberpunk as you can see here let's choose this one and see how it goes copy the prompt I don't know how it will go with this one. So guys, it just added the cyberpunk effect to our image. This one looks very, very nice. I don't know what's up with this one. It's not a cat, obviously, but this one and this one like it looks very, very good. This definitely has the cyberpunk effect. And uh, this one has the mate black effect, but I don't see the cyberpunk. These two have the lava glow effect and the mate black effect. This one doesn't have the lava glow effect, but has the cyberpunk effect. So this is a very, very great tool. And also, in addition to that, they have this guide. And here we're gonna find like the, the guides on how to use the prompts. For example, the, the cinema one. And as you can see, it breaks down the process of creating three different scenes. So if you're really interested in this stuff, be sure to check this out as it's very helpful. For example, here it breaks down the hamster in a space suit floating away from explosion. Now it's gonna explain how it generates this image. The breakdown of this image, as you can see. It can be very helpful if you're like you are looking to take your prompts to the next level. So yeah guys, be sure to check this tool. Also be sure to not include many many options in your prompts because adding a lot of options at once will make the results less accurate as you can see right here. That's it for today's video. If you want to see more helpful videos just like this one, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.